El primer ministro Stephen Harper, junto con su gabinete ministerial, al visitar Brasil, firmó algunos acuerdos con el gobierno de la excelentísima Dilma Rousseff y que será de beneficio tanto para Brasil como Canadá. Los periodistas locales y de Canadá ya se encuentran ubicados en el segundo piso del Palacio Planalto y en donde se va a llevar a cabo la ceremonia de la firma de acuerdos bilaterales y memorandos de entendimiento. En estos momentos entran al salón desde ceremonias el primer ministro Stephen Harper y la presidenta de Brasil, Dilma Rousseff. Entre los acuerdos y memorandos de entendimiento se encuentran acuerdos bilaterales de transporte aéreo, acuerdos de seguridad social, coordinando la pensión de beneficio entre ambos países, memorandos de entendimiento para cooperar en los Juegos Olímpicos que se van a llevar a cabo en Brasil y memorandos de entendimiento de ayuda de desarrollo internacional. Inicialmente, eu queria dar as boas-vindas ao primeiro-ministro do Canadá, Stephen Harper, e à sua comitiva, integrada por membros do seu gabinete do setor privado. Essa é uma oportunidade especial, senhor primeiro-ministro, para que nós aprofundemos e ampliemos a nossa parceria e a nossa cooperação. Nosso país dispõe de valioso potencial de desenvolvimento, y el Canadá y el Brasil serán capaces de estreitar y efetivar esa relación de cooperación. Nos, Brasil y Canadá, poseemos estructura productiva y pauta de exportación diversificada. La abundancia de nuestros recursos naturales representa seguro importante para un uso un futuro sustentable de progreso y bienestar para las nuestras sociedades. Posuimos dos de las mayores reservas mundiales de agua dulce y estamos entre los principales productores de alimentos, minérios y energía renovable. Por eso, el Canadá y el Brasil ofrecen grandes posibilidades para a concretização de projetos bilaterais e para a construção de uma ordem global mais equânime, mais próspera e muito mais sustentável. Somos igualmente duas grandes nações multiétnicas que compartilham princípios e valores democráticos essenciais para a construção de um mundo mais justo e mais pacífico. In 2007, we took the decision that Canada should make every effort to develop closer relations, especially closer trade relations, with the nations of this hemisphere. The free trade agreements we have already signed and the discussions underway show that our strategy is moving forward. Brazil, with all its vitality and its enterprising spirit, is a tremendously important part of our plans. I am therefore delighted to announce that President Rousseff and I have had cordial, productive discussions not just on Canada-Brazil relations, but also global concerns. These included in-depth discussions of the global economic and financial situation. We shall continue to work together in the G20 and push forward global stability and the global economic recovery. We also welcome the return of Honduras to the Organization of American States and confirm Haiti's continued need for the support of its hemispheric neighbors. We witnessed the signing moments ago of key bilateral agreements in the areas of air transport, social security, international assistance, academic programs, and science, technology, and innovation. And Brazil will host the 2016 Olympic and Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, and thus we have signed a memorandum of understanding through which Canada's considerable Olympic expertise will be made available to the Brazilian Olympics. And now of great importance, as you have just heard from the President, I am delighted that we are establishing the Canada-Brazil CEO Forum. The organization will nurture the already deep commercial ties between our two great countries. There is, of course, a common purpose to all of these agreements. It is to deepen collaboration and to promote mutual prosperity. Brazil and Canada are natural partners in such an undertaking. 
We share the fundamental values of democracy, diversity, human rights. We both strive for peace and prosperity at home while accepting our international responsibilities. We have both been successfully weathering the headwinds of the global economy due to strong fundamentals. And while we understand that we do compete, we also understand that trade is a vital tool for our mutual goals of greater security, expanded wealth, and more jobs. I'm therefore extremely pleased that Canada has initiated exploratory free trade discussions with Purpose Order. Further, we have committed to pursue a joint action plan and outgrowth of an earlier science and technology agreement that will bring new knowledge to the marketplace. Through foreign ministers, we're also committed to sustaining a regular dialogue to better, better understand how we can help each other reach our mutual goals. Now, as I said, it remains only for you, Madam President, to come and see us in Canada. As I uh, will say at lunch, we would love to have you come north, come soon, and we'd love to give you a taste of all things Canadian.